What I'm going to be doing here in this video is I'm going to be making an experimental inner cover for the top of the hive for use in the winter time. It'll still have some ventilation but it's non-condensing. Uh, I kind of got this idea from what we do in our greenhouses. Uh, we have a commercial nursery with, uh, we own four greenhouses. We do a lot of our own propagation and a lot of the seed propagation we do is extremely fine seed that we direct seed into multi-cell plug flats, but that's not really what this is about. But the material that I use to cover the flats to maintain humidity, hold this up here, maybe. It's a product called Verilite. Put that here in the center. It's a eight millimeter thick twin wall polycarbonate sheet. And it does have an R value, which I will look up and get stuck into this video somewhere. Um, my thought was to make an inner cover that still has ventilation on the uh, on one side to ventilate the excess moisture out of the hive, but this will also prevent condensation. Now, we use this, we've been using it for years in the greenhouses. Uh, the problem is when you, you see the normal humididome if you're into gardening or greenhouses or that type of thing or seed starting. And you would set this on top to maintain the humidity for extremely fine surface sown seed. You get condensation would form on the humidity dome and it would drip. And wherever it would drip it would disrupt those particular cells. Since our direct seeding is either in a 288 or 520, 512 cell flats, the disruption in there throws our count off and it also makes them uh, difficult to ship without somebody having to go through and pick out the ones that are dead and replace so bear with me here and I'll I got a couple pieces of wood cut here for the frame I gotta do a little bit of milling on them here on the table saw and router and I'll put one of these together I'll leave the dimensions at the end along with uh, some more information about this Verilite and where you can get it it's normally a 4x8 sheets uh, if you got a greenhouse supplier somewhere you may be able to get it cheaper I suppose a Coroplast would uh, have kind of the same effect but I don't know that it has that non-condensing coating on it like this Verilite does so I'm going to do a little cutting here and we'll get one of these built. I'm building this out of inch and a half by inch and a quarter framing for the, the wood frame. Yeah, I know, you're not supposed to do it this way.
ends, it helps to cut all the pieces the right size. Sixteen and a quarter by nineteen and seven eighths, same size as the super. Now what I need to do is cut a rabbit in this so that uh, it's eight millimeters wide, which is pretty much three eighths. My uh, the foam calculator work correctly. Too hard to tell that way. Looking for a three eighths rabbit. Point three seven five. There we go. If you've never seen one of these uh, micro jig grippers, they're a great investment. Put a that saw blade before I do something. So sounds like it needs a little bit of oil. Just wrap it a half inch to the center. Yeah, I have a uh, router camera built into my saw here.
there's a dust collector built into the table, but when you're cutting a blind rabbit like that, it, it's going to shoot it out the end regardless. Okay, next up I'll have to uh, cut the Verilite to fit this, and then I'll be putting it together. One more thing I want to do is cut some little quarter inch deep by three eighths wide slots on the thick side of the frame to uh, allow for ventilation so if that side is down against the hive uh, it, it, the material will not only prevent the condensation from forming but it will also still allow some ventilation out through the top cover. Having this little slot cut in there, well, when the cover is, here's the rabbit here where the Verilite's going to go. The, this will still allow uh, air vapor to escape, but it still won't create a draft. And if you did need to keep it up tight for some reason, seal it up tight. By flipping this over, this side would be sealed. Like, for example, if you had other vents in the back of your super. Next I'll have to measure up here to see what size of air light we need to cut for in there. I've got some scraps to work with. So 13 and a quarter, we'll add 3 quarters to that, so 3 eighths rabbit on each side, so that'd be 13 and 3 quarter. This is 17 and a quarter, so that would make that one 18. So 13 and 3 quarter by 18. This very light could be cut on a table saw. A dust under there. Thirteen and three quarter. Let's see what we got here for pieces. Yeah, this one will work. Camera turned back over towards the saw. What happens when you get old, you forget your measurements. Eighteen. Yep, that'll make it.
just like that. I'll get some glue and stuff together and we'll glue this up. Okay, ready to glue this thing up here and staple it. Um, the way this stuff works, if I didn't explain it earlier, I don't know if we can if the video and focus on this. This has a uh, hollow space in the center. It's what they call a double wall polycarbonate. They also make a triple wall. They even make a quintuple wall, a five wall polycarbonate. Primarily used in the greenhouse industry. You put a plastic film on it. I'm going to pull off here before I glue it up. As you can see, it's uh, pretty clear. It lets quite a bit of light through. Not that that's going to matter for what we're going to use it for, but in the greenhouse industry, that's important. Okay, I'll get a little glue here going and put this thing together. Using Tight Bond 3 again here, waterproof glue. When I had my hives years ago, well, it's back in the 70s, we used, uh, now you have what's called a quilt box. Back then we had a corn cob box. It's a box that was filled up with uh, ground up corn cobs. And moisture was still a problem, that and mice. Didn't really have any kind of good mouse excluder. Things were a little different back then. Didn't have small hive beetles or varroa mites either. Wiped off there. The right end of the right end will help. Yeah, I think there's enough in here to get through this. need to listen to that right now. And there we have it. We've got a ventilation on this side if you would care to use it. This side would be tight. And like I said this is an experiment. I uh, just had a thought about it when I was working out in the greenhouse this morning. Thought uh, I'd make an intercover out of this stuff since I had some little scraps laying around and I guess uh, we'll see how it works. I don't have any bees right now. Uh, just getting back into this after many many year hiatus but uh, I may try a few experiments out there with some uh, temperature sensors uh, this winter and just using empty hives and see what kind of differences I have and uh, what kind of humidity levels I end up with in there so thanks for watching if you like this uh, please hit the thumbs up button and we always welcome the comments and please subscribe thanks